Hello everyone and welcome to the rule explanation video for my Pokemon Heart Gold Taft Lock I'm going to be doing. It will start tomorrow, but before we can actually start with this Nuzlocke, which is not a Nuzlocke but a Taft Lock, I will explain the rules to you. Why do I do this? Normally I don't do it because normally I only upload normal Nuzlocke, but this Taft Lock is something I came up with myself, so I figured I might want to explain it to you guys. So, what is a Taft Lock? I'm going to be explaining it real briefly. The most important rule, like always in any Nuzlocke challenge ever, is you cannot use Pokémon once they faint. If they faint, they are considered dead and you cannot use them anymore. I'm not going to be releasing them, I'm going to put them in a box and at the end of the series I will be going back and looking at every single Pokémon I caught. Just like I always do, pretty much. But now, this is where it gets interesting. You cannot catch wild Pokémon. The only way you can get a Pokemon is catching them from other trainers using a Game Shark code or Action Replay or whatever. As long as you can catch trainer Pokemon. That's why you're doing a Taft Lock because you're a thief and you're stealing the Pokemon. You can use gift Pokemon you get from all kinds of trainers. Some games do this, not a lot of games do it. But if you're playing it in a game where you can get, for instance, a Togepi, because I'm hard goal to getting a Togepi Yak. You can use that gift Pokemon as one of your Pokemon, but you can just not catch wild Pokemon. Okay, so you can catch trainers Pokemon. Wow, that's not too hard, is it? Well, there are certain restrictions on this. You cannot catch your rival's Pokemon. You cannot catch Pokemon from people inside gyms. That's not only the gym leader, all the gym trainers are not allowed. You're not allowed to catch the Pokemon from them. Same with the Elite Four, you're not allowed to catch Pokemon from the Elite Four. So, those three kind of trainers, I'd say, you're not allowed to catch any Pokemon from. Not from your rival, gym trainers or gym leaders, and the Elite Four and obviously the champion. Next up is, you can only catch the last Pokemon a trainer has. You have to defeat every single Pokemon in the party of the trainer before you're allowed to catch the last one. That'll mean sometimes you will miss out on some great Pokémon. This rule exists because if you catch a Pokémon, the battle instantly ends. And otherwise you would be able to cheat the game pretty badly and catch every first Pokémon a trainer has. Also, it brings a little bit more challenge into the battle because if you're trying to catch one Pokémon that fails, you can just catch the next one. If you're only allowed to catch the last one, it's pretty much the same as a wild Pokémon battle. If you are not able to catch it, but accidentally kill it or it kills itself, it's gone. So those are the three most important rules and that's pretty much it. You can add on to it with like, yeah, you, you can only use like Pokemon centers once or twice in a town, no healing items. You can do that if you want to, I'm not going to do that personally, but if you so desire and you want to do this for yourself, feel, uh, feel free to do so. I mean. But these are the basic rules of the Nuzlocke challenge I'm going to be doing, which is a Taft Lock. I think that's a pretty good name for it. So if you're going to be doing it and you're going to post it on YouTube, please let me know. Send me the uh, videos in a, well, just a video response to this video. Just the very first episode you're doing, video response to this video and I will check them out. I hope people will be doing that because I think it will be a pretty cool thing to do and... Well, that's everything I have to say, I think. Look forward to my Pokemon Hard Gold Theft Lock. We will be catching or stealing some really good Pokemon, probably. Also, yes, I'm going to collect all 16 badges and go up till beating Red. Yeah, because that's how you play Pokemon Hard Gold, isn't it? So, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I hope you're going to like this challenge. I, I wasn't going to do it, but then I figured... Might as well do it. Might as well. So I will see you all back with the first episode tomorrow. Bye.